look, if you're not down to burn 239 gallons per hour, that's four gallons per minute, then this yacht might not be for you. So I graduated high school in 2008, and one of the few things I do remember from that year was seeing the 80 purging for the first time, which was the successful predecessor to this 82 purging that we're on today. So there I am graduating high school, and I just thought to myself, how can a boat that big look that cool and go that fast? And the only thing I felt was missing was a flybridge. And being the successor of the 80, we're on the 82 today, starting our walkthrough on the sun deck, they added just that. I'm sitting with Dennis and Yadi, and today we're gonna to be taking you around this 82 Pershing Milagros, built in 2013, and we're gonna to start today's walkthrough here on the sun deck. So on this forward half of the sun deck, we have this beautifully engineered helm station, which all of this seamlessly works together. This is your control block here, which operates the up and down of the console, lights, horns, etc., throttles, of course, and just under the helm control, you have this little stick, which is the tiller, which provides a quicker reaction to the hydraulic steering system of the boat. Here's why this tiller is important. It offers an alternative to the steering wheel where you can control the hydraulic steering system from a little stick. And I just find it so mind boggling that something so minuscule can control 120,000 pounds at 47 knots just by minor adjustments on a tiller stick. And just under the tiller, you have your balanced stern thruster controls. And beyond that, super important, flaps, trim tap controls, which play a major role in affecting the performance while underway at higher speeds. Don't forget this helm pops up, but when you're in operation here, multifunction display to starboard, ACR spotlight control, you have your FLIR camera just to port, and an amazing view of the foredeck. Here we are in Miami, Nixon Beach at anchor, perfect backdrop to show you the foredeck. To starboard and also to port, we have storage lockers. This U-shaped settee here does have a clamshell style electro-hydraulic bimini top that does come up to shade this area. Just forward, we have one of three substantially large sun pads which add more sunbathing and accommodation space to the exterior spaces. Making the stationary view possible, we have our low friends windless centerline of the yacht. Another thing to note here is the serene environment when you're not going 47 knots on this yacht, which makes this foredeck the perfect place to just decompress when you need it most. A few maintenance upgrades worth mentioning. Uh, back in 2019, all brand new paint, brand new radar, brand new satellite TV, balanced stern thrusters were also replaced. The AV system alone is worth about $200,000. All the invoices, all the maintenance records, everything's on hand. This boat has been well cared for. On the aft deck here, we'll make our way down to the swim platform through these stainless steel boarding gates. Easily the most functional thing about this boat is this tender garage. Here's what this garage can do for you. Launch your tender, your jet ski, and additional storage through these port and starboard emergency hatches for a quick drop in. If you're not using this garage, your crew definitely is. When it comes to launching your tender, your jet skis, and also storing some big fenders through these port and starboard emergency hatches. When I imagine how the aft deck on this 82 is used, it's this exact setting. You have your carbon fiber step ladder that descends into the superstructure, making it your space to use for alfresco dining or for the entire family to get together on an evening cruise. Here we have the third of three sunbathing areas on this aft deck, which also pairs nicely with this convertible dinette. With the staircase now ascended into the superstructure, we now have easier access to the wet bar and barbecue grill, and also the entrance to the salon. Before we enter the salon, I definitely wanted to touch on these port and starboard sliding doors, which become center line, combined with the back glass that drops down into the deck. This sliding door and window design is perfect for cool days like this, when you can drop this area, open up the salon, and infuse it with the exterior aft deck. The unsung part of the Persian experience that isn't talked about enough is the salon space. You have your galley below deck, which definitely opens up the salon more. Over here on the starboard side, we have our Poltrona Frau leather seating. This leather is not only on the upholstery, but also on the bulkheads throughout. Here on the port side, we have our pop-up TV, which is boxed in the light oak here. Just the port, we have our staircase that descends down into the crew quarter and also the galley. But let's talk about the bar area. 
All part of this wet bar, of course, you have refrigeration below, a nice sink, and port and starboard side wing doors to access the foredeck and other areas throughout the boat. And just forward of this L-shaped settee, we do have a wine cooler and a fridge freezer combo right beneath. Before we dive into the lower helm here, we're gonna make our way down to the crew accommodations and galley below deck. We now find ourselves in the crew accommodation, also the galley. Uh, just forward, we have our stainless steel sink, melee cooktop and oven, general electric refrigerator and freezer and microwave. Adjacent to, we have an L-shaped settee and dinette with storage above. Right next to this dinette, we have access to the crew accommodations. Just aft is the captain's cabin, just forward is the double bunk. Just past this television here, we have our day head and right across from it, our watertight engine room hatch. I wanna talk about the engines real quick. Uh, we won't spend too much time. Twin 16 v 2000s just aft, we have twin generators. Uh, you have your chiller system. Uh, there's one here that's 92,000 BTU and the other one is 60,000. We have our Bezanzoni pass rail just above here, water pumps below. Virtually any mechanical component that operates this boat is found in this machinery space. Back in the day, if you ran a racing boat, it used to require at least two people to operate. Uh, this is definitely with three helm seats an ode to that heritage and we'll go ahead and cover what you'll find here at the lower helm. So some of the electronics we find here, we have twin multifunction Furuno displays here, center line, we have our San Giorgio tank monitor, also engine room camera, bow stern thrusters here, trims and flap controls, tiller just the port here, center line of the helm station, and on the starboard side we have our MTU controls. To port and starboard of the center line steering wheel, we have our Naviop controls, which give you all of the engine data. And as we descend down this companionway, you have your distribution panel just to starboard, and at the foot of these stairs, we have our lower salon. The light oak theme throughout this boat continues even into the lower deck accommodations. What it means for a space like this, more airy, less stuffy, more comfortable. The AV system that supplies this space is one, the TV, speakers above and also the unit that controls them inside the storage locker. We're now going to have a look at the three guest accommodations where the owner suite just aft takes up the lion's share of all of the lower deck. One of the best things about the 82 is the full beam owner suite, great headspace, LED lighting throughout, hall side windows on both sides here and also in the ensuite bathroom. Just on the starboard side here, full size hanging locker with drawer storage inside and the sliding glass doors which separates the ensuite from the owner's cabin. Just to starboard, we have our second guest cabin which features two beds, a Pullman bunk, a storage locker and access to the ensuite. This head and shower combo also served as the day head just right outside the VIP guest cabin. Center line, we have our Island Queen berth and also pocket storage to starboard and port. In terms of lighting, we have natural light from the center line skylight, but also from the hull side windows on top of the indirect LED lighting just above. Thanks so much for joining us on today's walkthrough on Milagros. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at any time.